then we'll dive into what are the benefits that you will get while working at, in a customer support department. Then we'll talk about some of the few tools that I use personally that if you use can also boost your productivity. Then of course, there is always a learning curve. So we'll also dive into some of the helpful resources that you can follow along to uh, for, uh, improve your learning in support. Now let's understand customer support and its importance. So when you say customer support, the biggest first thing that comes in the mind is about interacting with the customer. Yes, it is about interacting with the customers, but does it just limit to interacting with customers? I believe customer support is not just about responding to the emails, chatting with the customers or talking over the phone to help to answer their questions or resolve the issue that they are facing. Customer support is way more than that. In simple words, I believe customer support is about providing timely empathetic help that always put customers need at first. In simple words, what you can say is, you should always keep your customer at the first, timely address the issue and clearly communicate so that they are happy with the service that you are providing. It is also an essential medium that serve as a bridge between your product company and its customers. A good customer service is very important if you really want to grow your product. Here are the few benefits that you get if you offer a very good customer service. One is of course the growth of your product. If more customers are using your product because you offer very good customer service, then it will help you in the growth of your product. The next benefit is your product is going to be used by thousands of customers or even million of customers probably. You will have internal team who do the testing, even the expert developers and very experienced QA. But the real testing comes from your real user will provide very valuable insights about the box. Even the feature that you have never thought of can come from your customers. So they are very good source of providing valuable insights about your product that you can use to improve your product. The next is about it. A good customer service helps you to create a very positive brand image and customer loyalty. The next benefit is we developer uh, tend to do mistakes. Sometimes your developer might push a code that might break a website. I'm sure you might, if you have used websites, sometimes they happen, there can be fatal error. Now, when the, when this happens, your customers are going to be frustrated. They're going to even leave a bad review if it could not solve the issue in a re, uh, very soon. But if you have maintained a very good relation with your customers and they reach out to you, hey, I updated the plugin or theme and my site broke up. Can you provide me what, what can I do to fix the issue? Then if you, uh, you can just say, hey, we are sorry for the, that you are facing an issue. Our developer is currently working on the issue. Please allow us sometimes. And your customers are more likely to understand that, hey, mistake happens. And there are many others. Now, this is the question that before the presentation, someone asked me, can anyone, even without a coding knowledge, can start their career as a customer support? Yes, you can. In fact, when I started my career in the company, I had absolute knowledge about coding. Even national knowledge, I have no prior knowledge of WordPress. I could join the company and then learn. So even if you don't have any knowledge about WordPress, you can still start your career as a customer support representative. But there are certain skills, soft skills that you need to acquire. So let's dive into what are the skills you need. The first skills that you need is have very good communication skills. By communication skills, I mean that you should be able to communicate clearly with your customers. It's not just about writing the emails. It's the way how you write your emails. 
is the way how you address your coefficient or issues of your customers. For example, let's take uh, a customer name called Sagar reach out to you and say that I am facing an issue to install your product. Then there are two ways you can respond to the customers. One, hi Sagar, uh, please refer to this documentation and this will help you to use our product effectively. The other way you can tackle the same situation is hi Sagar. I'm sorry to hear that you are facing an issue. But don't worry, I'm here to assist you and guide you step by step. These are some of the helpful resources that we have created to help you get started. Here's the link to the documentation, here's the link to the video guide. We understand that this might not be uh, easy for everyone to follow. But if you could provide me with the insights where you are stuck, then I can provide you with a step by step how to proceed further. Please follow these resources and let me know if you still run into the trouble. And then you can close the conversation. You see, we have the same customers, but the way that you communicate with the customers is slightly different. And the way you communicate with your customers make a very good impact on your customers. The next skill is writing skills. We know how to write. Okay, This is something we have been trained since we joined these schools, but it's not just about writing a plain English. It's not about writing very sophisticated language. It's about writing in a way that your customers can understand. One way is to write in a human tone that can be easily understandable by your customers. Don't write generic robotic uh, responses. For example, when you start your conversation, start with something like greeting. Hey, good morning, Sagar. I hope you had a wonderful day. Then you address the questions. Let me know if you run into trouble. Have a nice day. The next day, when you would uh, respond a ticket on a, after a weekend, you can say, Hi, Sagar. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I'm back on the work. I'm back to the work, and let me see in the issue that you are facing. And then you can address the way you communicate with the customers will have profound. Uh, profound impressions on how they're gonna see how you interact and how they're gonna see your product. The next skill that I emphasize is having a self-control and a patience. When you interact with the customers, you will come across a different level of customers who might be absolute beginner, who might be really happy with your product, who might be even frustrated or to take the level extreme, you might even come across the customers who might say bad about a bad word about your product and even uh, uh, like abuse you. That has been the case. But in certain cases also, you do, you don't need to lose your temper, no matter how rude or how frustrated they are. Kindly address the issue they are facing. Use soft tone. Let's take an example. Somebody is out to hey, I'm not happy with your product please issue a refund. Instead of sending a refund, if you have a refund policy, instead of sending the refund policy directly, you can say, I'm sorry to hear that you are facing an issue. Uh, I'm here to assist you. Can you please let me know what are the issues that you are facing? And I'll be happy to jump in. If you are not happy with our product, uh, please let me know and I'll be happy to issue the refund. Now, if you could, if you had sent this uh, a refund ticket, the customer will see that hey, this company doesn't care about me. They are not even trying to solve the issue that I am facing. So why should I use this product? But when you try to help them to solve the issue, then they will even, who knows, they might even give you a chance to solve the issue. And the next skill is about attentiveness. When customer reaches out to you, clearly understand what kind of user they are and try to address the questions they are trying to ask. There might be a user. If you have, if anyone is in the support, you might come across a user that will try to install the theme by going under the plugins. So if you send a documentation, hey, this, uh, that, and very complicated documentation, they are gonna feel lost. So you need to understand what kind of level the user is and then craft your uh, 
support ticket in a way that they can understand. Take this step further. If you feel comfortable, just record a video and then send them. Send them. The other thing you can do is uh, sometimes uh, any decks or something like that can be even taken. Always experiment. And of course, I always emphasize how important it is to mend the decorum of your space. Always use positive language like greetings, wish them wonderful, uh, like on their festivals. If if uh, you visit their website and if you really love their website, give compliments to the customers. Hey, I really love, the website. I really love I, the way I like the way you have used the colors and the way the font uh, typography is used. It's wonderful. Sometimes, if you notice an issue on your customers, uh, and then what can say is, hey, I see that you have made a wonderful website, but I noticed this tiny issue. Let's here's the quick fix that you can follow along. Now, of course, when you work, you'll all, uh, you also need to have a product and take the stack knowledge. This is something that even if you don't have, but if you have those all five skills, you can still join the company and learn those skills. It just requires you to be fully focused and so on. Now, we talk about the skills uh, that you need and there are many other skills, but I think those are the skills that you need to start. There are certain benefits that you also get as of working in the customer support department. The one benefit is very easy to start. Just like I mentioned in the beginning, I had absolute uh, zero knowledge about WordPress when I joined the company and I still started my career as a support intern. So anyone who wants to join the company as a customer support uh, department can easily do that. If you love problem solving, this is one of the perfect places join since you will be interacting with thousands of customers you will solve the issue that they are facing so it will also help you to develop your uh, subconscious thinking to help uh, solve different kind of uh, issues then it's not just about professionally you'll also learn some of the valuable skills that will also help you personally like interpersonal skills empathy and also make you a very good communicator. The other benefits that you get is it also do, opens a door for lots of opportunities. Today you are working on in customer support department. Let's suppose you want to transition to a quality assurance engineer. You can do that because you already have a very good knowledge about the product. Then if you are interested into copywriting, the way you interact and the valuable insights that you get, you have Hey, these are the things that they are doing. So you can also go into copywriting. You can also go into design and so on. It also depends on how you leverage the insights that you get. And of course, if you love reading books, this is the, uh, one of the uh, good books that I have read. The Sixth Discipline of Customer Experience. That's all. If you'd like to connect me on LinkedIn, here's my LinkedIn profile. Now. If you have any question, please feel free to ask.